You know what's my favorite maneuver? Oh no, no, oh no. I'm sure you feel out of place here. <laughs> yeah, just imagine if you went to infantry school. I'd crush everyone. <laughs> you are a hip team in that department, I suppose. It's about your size. She's got to be in here. At least everything seems normal. Why would I want to buy headlight fluid? Who am I inserting that into? I. No, I don't even want to go there. Stop. Oh, no. This better be the headlight fluid. It's something like this. This is headlight fluid, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Do that eyedropper on the girl. Oh, Ellen. Hi. Crazy. Hey, it's too. What's up? Can you believe how hard you are to catch up with? Why were you following me? That's why I had to jog the last... You know, I've been out here for quite a while. I've been in the... Not in the street. I was in the store for quite a while, I suppose. And now you're saying all of a sudden that, Hey, I've been looking for you. I've been running, jogging. I've... Been inside the store. What's the problem, girl? You followed me for three blocks. No, six. I just jogged for the last three. Well, okay, that's mildly disturbing. So let's go out. You know, as soon as that sounds, I was actually heading home. That's okay, I can go. Around the, you remember that crazy curve? I think... Yeah, you, you don't want that. I'm pretty sure you don't want that. That's a no. <clears throat> Come on, let's go. I asked too. That's really sweet, but I need to go. Oh, okay. Well, will you call me? The no is strong with this one. But I fear my for my life. I fear for my life. I don't want. I don't want to go down the little crazy. I don't want to. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not looking for, this guy is, he's screwing himself over already. Apparently someone's playing that's a trick on him, so let's go with a yes. Yeah, sure, but for now I need to go, get going. I'll catch you later. She's miles before scampering off. Whew. Crisis averted. <laughs> she smiles at you as she walks off down the street. We're tanks for city, Mumble. As you continue, we'll make your way home. Yes, let's get home very quickly. Much quicker. That was much too slow. Faster. It's good to be finally home. Got off the start TV on top of your desk. Bad idea. Also, at least the time would have been normal. But looks like that ain't happening. I guess I'll try and get some rest before class tomorrow. Lay in your bed and just off to sleep. Good luck. So, in review, many large caliber rounds, AT or otherwise, may bounce against properly angled armor. Even the thinnest armor can bounce a high velocity round if the angle is severe enough. As such, take care to present as little of your armor as possible. I... I just can't. Which way, is, which way am I supposed to understand this in the window here? Which way? I I just don't I don't get any more. I I just I'm getting so lost. Avoid showing the enemy your broadside. Be extremely careful with penetration from the rear. <laughs> your penetration sound right here. Cunning's alley, huh, Sherman? Uh, <laughs> except I don't have a, does have a thing for flanking maneuvers. Oh no, no. Really? Because I have some personal pencil that he prefers ammo racks. Big ammo racks. Oh, what you prefer? She begins teasingly. So, guys, what should we go for? <laughs> what it could possibly be Irwin's interests in tanks? I just noticed that there's a pink tank in here in the background. I have no idea why. 
Nobody why. Fire support 101. Okay. I don't answer that question, Sherman. Good. Lame. Hey, good. What are you whispering about back there? Sir, I like the big Amorex. Rex. Just like you, sir. Oh. Don't sir me, maggot. Suddenly you have an idea. No. Oh, gosh. This recruit has a question regarding penetration. Go on. This recruit is wondering whether or not the size of the bore affects penetration, sir. Is it better to have a large bore, long barrel, or skill to aim? No. Oh. What the hell are you a blind recruit? It's good to be inquiring as to how the sergeant prefers to penetrate tanks. Is it impossible with a smaller gun? <laughs> Did you just supply the gun he has a smaller gun? Why am I doing this? Why did I choose this? Why didn't I read the warning signs? I should have bailed when I saw IS-2 for crying out loud. Oh, shit, he's pissed. Wait. How big is your board, she whispers? No, girl. Jimmy, not now. Grass outside. We're having a practical drill in the angling armor. Recruit Lamar. Here. Well, recruit Lamar here has graciously volunteered himself as the first target. Crap. Sir? Don't you serve me, maggot, outside now? Oh, my book was so far up your ass in his seat. I think, he's taking, I think he's taking this a little far. I mean, I don't know. Seems to be a little excessive, don't you? All right, thanks. Which one of you wants to take the first shot? Recruit the more here. Sergeant, he can't angle his armor. Hey, that's just, how would you know? Well, you best learn real quick. Well, you best learn real quick then. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to give Lisa Sergeant a voice because he, he'd be a some, some more, more fun voice to do. But it hurts my voice. Hi, volunteer senpai. Well, well this is the Pride American star herself. Front and center. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Even everyone realizes. Not going well. This is the moment. And he realized. He screwed up. What's up, Rams? Try low, senpai. Tell the line, Sherman. Load heat. High explosive. Aye. Recruit. Angle your armor. Uh, what? Angle it. Uh, what am I angling? What am I angling? I don't have anything to angle. I don't have it. I don't even have the armored skirt. I technically have. Pants. I, I, I hope I have pants at least on this side. I don't know anymore. He's going to gone for bad to worse here. I'm just going to dodge to the right. <laughs> well, at least he knows he's screwed. Rounds ready, Sergeant. Take aim. Sherman, wait, please don't shoot me. Don't you don't do this, please, please, please. Come on, man. Angle. Here it comes. Yeah. Fire. Woohoo. You are way too excited to be shooting things. Way too excited. You need to bring that level from here down to, like, down here. We're out of the camera view. Sorry. Catch me with that. Catch me with that view. Uh, I don't. Not for any personal reason. I guess I am wearing pants. Shorts. Just to be precisely. I just don't know about my character wearing pants or shorts. Uh, Bad. That was bad. Am I seeing the light here, or everyone? No, I just lay down, lay down. Don't get up, Erwin. God, is that you? God, am I dead? 
Unfortunately, you are not, recruit. That's not my fault, from what I recall. I recall being shot at. Um, uh, I can't be blamed for something be, for being shot at. Just, just saying. For the record, it seems the pinnacle of American engineering could hit the broad side of a goddamn aircraft carrier. Oh no, I think she hits the broad side of an aircraft carrier. I mean, seriously, uh, the school be not as big as an aircraft carrier, but it'd be pretty large enough to say you could quasi say yes, it is, and she hit it. She didn't hit the flea that was on it. Me. Me, I was, I was the flea. I was the tear. I wanted to fly way fast. I want to flee quickly. Tomorrow we'll be having a class in the field. You're dismissed, maggot. Thankfully, another day survived. Woo! Fuck. Um, hi, Dad. Whoa, what are you doing here? No, but you came close. Um, all right then. You know, Sherman really shouldn't have fired. She always does that thing without thinking. How did I get here? Just get some mess. I can't carry you home every time you get yourself in trouble. Why are you carrying me in the first place? Well, thanks, you know. It's, it's not like I wanted to or anything, stupid. I think the word baka was what you must have meant to say. Anyways. Like, it's just what Sergeant told me to. Well, thanks anyway, T-34. T yeah, yeah. You walk the railing. You know, it's nice. Nice. Um, being here, she moved closer to you. Hi. Erwin, I wanted to ask you. Do you think you... Aha! Uh -huh. Yo, new guy! Sherman? Sherman? Get out. I want to make sure you were alright. I'm all... He's fine, Sherman. Well, I brought some snacks to cheer you up, so you hand a small bag of pretzels. Thanks. I really needed that. Um, these are expired. <laughs> well, what do you get from MREs? Oh, I thought I said brought. I didn't say bought. Yeah, I'm definitely saying stay away from Sherman. Definitely liking T34 much more now. I want to head home, get some rest, Sherman. Yeah. And you too. Please leave. Please. Whoo, she seemed mad. Is this something I said? Um, no, nah, it's alright, Sherman. Anyway, thanks for checking on me. I think I was most surprised by the shot. I feel fine now. Good, because tomorrow's Sergeant is having us do some outdoor thing. We wanted me to bring you the address. She has you a slip of paper with a lot long coordinates. Old school. 3741 North, 14102 East. Yep, see you tomorrow, new guy. All right. And here's another thing, T-34 already seems to be a nice gal because she addresses you by her name. IS-2 does as well, but uh, we know she's crazy. Nuts. Don't want to be part of that part. That part. Don't want to be part of that family. The rubble of the soft train rolling up along the tracks makes rhythmic pattern as you sit on the soft seats of the It's Region Express. Jeff and foot to the sound of the tracks. Bloop, 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 bloop. Don't mind that. <clears throat> Soft sound that has lulled you off to sleep more than once on this trip. Ugh. Gunny sure picked the farthest parts possible for a field trip off, didn't he? Field trip off, eh. Side difference, right? Suddenly the train makes a turn and the warm summer sun cats a slide through the windows. Ooh, that's pretty. Whoa! The sea stretches out. All the way to the horizon, and crystal blue water shimmers in the sunlight. Japan sure is beautiful. I wonder what he has in mind for us, though. This is probably going to be some god awful Navy SEAL physical fitness thing. Uh, he's a good sergeant. He's not, he's not a SEAL. Two different things. 
Eh, at least I might take a higher score in my underwater knife fighting test this time. I don't recall that being a test ever. Um, I don't never heard of that sort of thing. The train begins slowing down as it approaches the station. When it stops, the doors open and you can smell the scent of the sea salt on the wind. Oh yes, you get up, walk off the train to a eh, good looking place in town. Town looks like it was built on the side of a large hill, descending <clears throat> all out. It's a picturesque seaside town. Damn, pretty place for a day of training. Pretty cool, I'll say. Well, I guess I'll head t down to the beach and see what the gunny has in store for us. You arrive on the beach a few minutes later and the deep blue water reflects the morning sunlight. As you approach, the rest of the tanks are already chatting in the group. Erwin! She chats away as you over. Hey, Panzer. Oh, so you made it. T-34. Uh, um, it's nice to see you, Erwin. She says shyly. Hey, everyone. Wait, where's Sherman? Probably late as always. Oh, well, here comes the gunny. All right, Maggots. After you get your catastrophe, you're going to work. You're going to sweat. You will. No pain. And, and so as punishment, you're all spending a day at the beach. Uh, what? No. I tried to be ruined in the sand. What treads? Just wash them off, girl. Just wash them off. Ah, I don't think this is safe for my transmission sergeants. <laughs> you should have thought of that. Before blowing up the classroom. She didn't blow it up, though. If I remember correctly, Sherman blew up the classroom after you ordered her to fire off range. Yeah. I'm liking T-34 already. I brought all of you out here to have a nice time. And honestly, I'm feeling a little under attack right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my girl. You have won. You have won. Uh, if this is a Danny Gate simulator, I'm going to try for you. <laughs> you got the best. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Could be a little bit bad, Sarge. All right, all right. You can spend the day in town. Sergeant, what well, command man if we came all the way out here and don't do any training? And why are you so stupid, Erwin? You don't question it. You just follow flipping orders. Condemn recruit, fine, field craft in. Go on a scavenger hunt or something. Scavenger hunt, come on. Oh, okay. What do you expect us to find? What do I look like, your mother? Damn it, recruit, I'll write you at each a list. Sergeant pulls out a notebook from his pocket, begins writing out a scavenger hunt list for each of you. And good job, Erwin. You are called the Blue Falcon. All right, split up, up in teams of two and go. Shit, don't finish before 1600. At least one of us is going to enjoy the beach today. Me. Ah, oh, man. Who should I help on their scavenger hunt? Well, yeah, that's right. Sherman's not here yet, so. I'm going with the good girl. She is awesome. T-34, you want to help scavenger hunt together? Here, not really. I mean, what's on your list? Yes? No? Fine. Oh, let's see. You look down at your list and read it aloud. Can my batteries? Keys for a Humvee. And an ID-10T form. Why would you find, why would there be a Humvee way out here? Second of all, that's why you have tanks. So you drive around, drive around in the tanks. Um, that's a little different. In, that's 
different meaning in this game, I suppose. But at the same time, where are you going to find the keys? And I'd be ten for? Whatever. Ha! What's next? Grid, squ grid squares? Talk about something on the... What? There's some military stuff I don't have to look up. It's, that's doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't think we're getting any of those. <laughs> you can see I, I took a few from your grave <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. It is really going there. Okay. Wow. Let's get to work together. Let's get some work done. How about that? All right. I guess you can tag along. Wow, they're really pushing this Crimea bit here. <laughs> you and T-34 walk up the slight hill from the beach towards the town. So what's, really, what's on your list, T-34? <laughs> Game Special wants me to find tiny umbrellas, tequila, salt, a lime, sandals, and a yukata. Yukata. <sighs> Tropic Oasis plus Japanese. Makes total sense. How oh, bothersome. Looks like a full day's of work, she sighs. <sighs> for some reason, for some people. <coughs> hmm? I don't think. Let's get started. Sure. All right, well, I bet we can stack some of the tiny umbrellas from the convenience store. Let's go check. It's probably worth the luck. Hey, I recognize this picture before. You and T-34 are walking to the convenience store, and it looks eerily similar to the one near your apartment. Probably because it's very convenient to have the same format, same layout, same everything else. But anyways, especially for a game. <laughs> Funny, these are the same layout as the one in our town. So you hear a shout from the other part of the store, and guess who's here to ruin the party? Everyone in Tichon. God, Sherman. Please don't come with that. Annoyed. Sharon walks up behind the bottle of soda in her hand and takes another swig. Oh, relax, each other. Didn't expect to find the two of you here. Where were you this morning? We were meeting on the beach. Uh, I was running a bit late and I got thirsty. I'm heading there now. Well, we're on a scavenger hunt now. Get these orders. Because of a certain blue falcon, by the way. Awesome. Can I come with you guys? You should find Gunny. That'd be nice. Sure, come with us. No, we're doing this together. I could do without Sherman. She's no. We're doing this together. Well, I'm kind of doing this with 234 at the moment. Oh, so it's that kind of scavenger hunt? <clears throat> she caught me. What? No, no, it's not that. She blushes. Ah, don't worry, you guys. I should go report to Gunny anyways. Oh, before I go, saw the super cute cafe down the road? You two should totally check it out. See ya! Um, sorry about that, 234. It's not really what I meant. I was just trying to get rid of a certain someone I'd rather not associate with ever again. So, please, please understand. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I found the umbrellas. Let's go check out that cafe. All right. 